Hi boys and girls. Today we're going to be working on our almost our very last opinion writing, which I know some of you are excited about because writing is hard. Uh, but I know others of you are a little sad. I hope you're excited to write about this week's writing. Today we're going to be writing about this. In my opinion, a blank, an animal that you choose, would make a great pet because... So I want you to think about the different animals that we have learned about this week as we've learned about the zoo. Or maybe you need to start thinking about that. Opinion writing really should take you all week to do. I know some of you can just do it really fast, but you should think about it one day or learn about it one day and then write just a little bit every day. You know, one sentence every day is a good way to become a great writer. So, the first, so you're gonna need this. We're gonna need our opinion writing paper. And I definitely printed out the extra paper today. So I have my extra writing paper. I'm gonna run out of room. I have my list of sight words, or maybe you have a stack of sight word cards. That would be helpful. And then, look, it's a little bit dirty because I've been using it so much. Um, I have my opinion sentence starters. So we're gonna need that too. And you can look at it on a screen or you can have it as a piece of paper in front of you, but these are super helpful. So I've got all of those pieces of paper. There are four pieces of paper. Uh, the writing paper that has the animal on the side of it. I think it's a giraffe. Yep You need this one the blank piece of paper some sight words to help you and the sentence starters So why don't you look on with me as I start to write my opinion about what animal from the zoo? I think would make a great opinion and I'm gonna make it an animal from the zoo, but you can make it any animal So I have got my opinion writing right here. Just like I said earlier. Um, I've got my extra paper and Then just as helpers. I have my sentence starters For later and then some sight words You might know a lot of sight words already, but you might need still need some help So having a list of sight words or cards of sight words is a great way to start or to do excuse me Having your um, sight words nearby can really help, just like in our classroom. All right, so remember what I said. Each day, let's just do a little bit, unless you want to do a lot more in one day. So today, I'm just going to start by doing my very first sentence, and then each day, I'm going to do a little bit more. So in my opinion, a blank would make a great pet because... So this first sentence is going to be my opinion. And I looked online at the San Diego Zoo and I thought it'd be really fun to pretend to have a zoo pet. So I was looking at all the animals. I like the polar bears were cool and the platypuses and the, I'm trying to think of what other animals were, the lions and the penguins. But I am gonna choose a koala. In my opinion a koala now koala is not his name it is a koala so it's a lowercase Ko -k -o -a -o -a. koala in my opinion a koala now this is the spot where you're gonna write your animal name and this is a great place, if you're doing this with me at home, this is a great place to pause the video so you can write your own animal name. You may choose the same animal as Mrs. Wigand, but if you're gonna, if you wanna pause the video to write your own animal name, this is a good spot to pause. In my opinion, a koala would make a great pet because, hmm, so my opinion is that it would be a koala because, because I think they're just right for my home. In my opinion, a koala would make a great pet because it, it. Now I'm gonna do my space between my words. Words don't like to touch each other. They need personal space because it, and that's a sight word, and is is a sight word. It is just. J, j. Now that just is not a sight word. J, j. 
a s t just in my opinion a koala would make a great pet because it is just right R i t the i is saying its name so there's an e at the end because it is just right Oh, four is a sight word. And me is also a sight word. Boys and girls, this is a great way to state your opinion. So if you want to copy what I'm writing, you might choose a different animal, but finishing your opinion this way is a really a great way to set yourself up for good writing. In my opinion, a koala would make a great pet because it is just right for me. So if you want to pause the video right here, you can copy these words. And then you would tell why your animal is just right for you. So this is where I might wait till tomorrow and do one of the reasons why I think or feel the way I do. I'm going to keep going because I don't want to make lots and lots of videos. So I'm going to get my sentence starters out. And I'm going to start my first sentence with I'm. I know, and it's the orange sentence. Got my space. I know, and I'm going to copy the word koala because I've already written it, and I don't need to sound it out again. I could just copy it. I know koalas eat plant plants and I I want to say I can feed them, but I could also say I have plants to feed them. And I have, have, ooh, I've run out of room. Now, if you haven't or you can't print out the extra writing paper, you can always just write on the back. And I have pull ant, pull ant. To eat. Mm. Now it's not t, it's v. That's right, it's a th sound. V, eh. Mm. So that's my first reason. All right, so I have written my first reason for why I think a koala is going to be a good pet. I know koalas eat plants and I have plants to feed them. All right, so now I need a second reason. So remember, I'm just going to try to write one sentence every day. Hmm. I'm going to use the word I think. So that's the red sentence starter. I and put a space. I think a koala. Remember, I'm copying that down from my paper. I'm not sounding it out again. I think a koala would. That's a sight word. I'm just copying my sight words down. Or if I know how to spell that sight word, I can just write it down easily. I think a koala would it in my ow. You know, I was thinking about some of the other animals at the zoo and they would not fit in my house. 
Like, I don't think, I don't think that a polar bear would fit in my house. And then I was also thinking about um, penguins, and they really need to be in water. And I don't, I can't have a pool in my house, so I think a koala would fit really nicely in my house. All right, I've decided that I'm going to start my sentence with "I like." I like that I can. Ooh, another sight word. Now this is this was a big factor in choosing my pet. I like that I can cuddle k a d o a co all a. I was thinking about this part. I cannot cuddle an alligator. I do not want to cuddle many animals from the zoo because they could be dangerous and or might want to snack on me but a koala looking at the video from the san diego zoo it seems like an animal that it's just almost like a stuffed animal i could just hold it and it would be fuzzy and would want to hold on so that's why i chose the koala so now i've got let's see how many sentences i have in my opinion, a koala would make a great pet because it is just right for me. I think this is such a great way to end that first sentence. So boys and girls, I hope you choose to copy mine and make it easy. You can of course do something on your own, but it's a great way to end your sentence. Now I'm gonna have my three reasons why. I know koalas eat plants and I have plants to feed them. That's my first reason. I think a koala would fit in my house. That's my second reason. I like that I can cuddle a koala. And there's my third reason. And now I'm gonna write one last sentence just to, I'm gonna restate my opinion. So I'm just gonna make it super easy and everybody can have the same ending sentence. So here's my ending sentence. So whatever your animal is, you'll start it at the beginning of your sentence. So I'm writing koala. So if you chose, uh, let's see, maybe you're Lucas and you choose dinosaurs, or maybe you choose lizards, or maybe you choose lions or polar bears or penguins, whatever your animal is that you choose, it's gonna be your first word. I'm and because- Oh, you're gonna cuddle, cuddle a penguin? So you're going to write your your animal first, and it'll start with an uppercase. Koala. All right, so here I've got koala. I'm going to write koalas are, there's a pirate's favorite sight word, are, and I'm just going to go ahead and copy this word right here. Koalas are great pets. Koalas are good. And I don't even need a sound it. I'm just copying it down. Great pet. So I've ended my sentence with a period, but I want it to be a very exciting ending. So I'm going to make it an exclamation point. So let's see how many sent periods I have. That will tell me. That will tell me how many sentences I've written. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, five sentences. So if I write one sentence every day, that won't be too much. Okay. Let's read the whole thing again out loud to see if I made any mistakes. And boys and girls, you should be reading your sentences out loud so you can hear if you've made any mistakes. In my opinion, a koala would make a great pet because it is just right for me. Remember boys and girls, you can end your sentence the same way as Mrs. Wigand. I know koalas eat plants and I have 
plants to feed them. I think a koala would fit in my house. I like that I can cuddle a koala. So there's my three reasons for why I think a koala would make a good pet. Here's my last sentence. Koalas are great pets. So we're all going to end our sentence the same way, except for the animal word. The animal word might be different for you because you've chosen a different animal. So blank are great pets. All right, so boys and girls, I am so excited for you to share which animal you choose. We're going to share this on our Friday Zoom call.